What is it that seems a little bit interesting to you? What is it that puts you out of your comfort zone? Have you thought about going skydiving? Have you thought about maybe taking your car and racing it around a track? Have you thought about maybe trying some new stuff, going to an arcade? Maybe you like playing video games. Are there other people in the, in the, the area that like playing video games? Go onto Facebook, start searching your area and see if there's other people that are doing the things that you like to do. There are communities, no matter how weird your thing is that you like, there are definitely communities that are into what you're into. Can you find those communities? Can you find those people? Can you connect to them? There's a part of you that's just looking to be reignited. It's not that it was never there. It's always been there. It's been lying dormant saying, hey, I'm ready for you to come bring me back. I'm ready to have some fun. I'm ready to find my passion. I'm ready to find my purpose. And your passion and your purpose don't have to be your paycheck. It could just be something that you do outside of work that you spend your free time doing, but makes you feel like you're alive inside. Because burnout doesn't come from doing too many things. Burnout comes from doing too little of what you actually love. And so what I would recommend to you is to understand no matter what age you are, you can reinvent yourself at any moment. You can, you can bring that childlike feeling back in. You can decide to start that new business and, and put yourself out there. You can decide to, you know, decide to go to a knitting class, start knitting some things, and then start going to a farmer's market and selling the stuff that you knit. There's a million ways to find what it is that you're passionate about, what your purpose is, what makes you feel like a kid again, what lights you up, what feels like play to you but could feel like work to other people, you just have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone. If you're not willing to get out of your comfort zone, you're not going to be able to find it. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on your Instagram stories. Tag me in at Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. And if you love this podcast, you probably heard me talk about Mindset Mentor Plus. It is basically designed to help you integrate every single one of these episodes into your life. And this is basically how it works. For every single episode of this podcast, Mindset Mentor Plus subscribers are going to get multiple page detailed worksheets, little tiny mini masterclass that go more in depth than just the podcast. So you can print them out, you can go through them, you can underline them, you can write on them, you can put your notes in it. They have journaling questions in it so you can take the episodes and you can start to integrate them into your life. There's assignments, there's challenges. Um, and you know, so you can integrate every single one of them so you can improve faster. Uh, that's also where we do the monthly Q&A sessions. That's where I got this question from was a monthly Q&A session. So if you want to learn more about it, there's a video if you go to MindsetMentor.com um, and you know, check it out. See if it's for you. Once again, it's MindsetMentor.com. And with that, I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.